Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I'm a full-time artist. Last week I went on a trip to Arizona and now I'm very inspired to paint anything desert. I did bring my travel watercolor so I was able to paint a little bit while I was there. I'll show you that as well. Now that I'm back home, it's snowing, I'm missing the warmth, I'm missing the sun, so I'm going to try to paint it. Let me know if you like this kind of video. Um, leave me a like, comment, whatever you want, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Whenever we're in Arizona, we love watching the little quail run around. They're just always so cute and kind of funny looking with a little thing on top of their heads. But I just love them. So I really wanted to try to paint one this time. This is my first watercolor painting of a bird, I think. And it was a fun challenge. And here's the finished little guy. Um, I kind of love him, not gonna lie. But most of the time in Arizona, I was either reading or just spending time with family. And honestly, just spending as much time in the pool as we can and just eating lots of tasty food. I did manage to get another watercolor painting in when I was there, and it was a landscape painting. Um, it turned out okay, in my opinion. I really like the red rock formation and how that all turned out. But then I added a cactus in front of it, and I don't know. It, it's not my favorite. But then when I got back to Colorado, I kind of took this as inspiration to try that again with the landscape in the back and then the cactus as sort of the um, main focal point of the piece and I ended up liking it a lot better. So this was just the warm up. Whenever we're in Phoenix, we try to visit the Botanic Gardens because they're just so gorgeous. They're so peaceful. Look at this little birdie on top of the cactus. Amazing. But some of the cacti there are just so tall and so old. Honestly, it's kind of mind-blowing to me. I just realized that the composition is a little bit off and it should be over at about right here because that's getting too close to the edge right there. So I'm going to try to change it and see if that looks better. Okay, so it took me quite a few tries to get this cactus right. Um, I like how it turned out in the end, but just bear with me because I think it looks pretty bad at first and then I slowly fix it over the course of this painting. And I really just wasn't thinking because I definitely should have painted the background first and then the cactus on top of that and not started just straight out with the cactus. So yeah. I regretted that the entire time that I was painting this. So I totally messed up. <laughs> Just trying to fix it now.
the shape was too cartoonish. We're gonna fix up the background with some pretty heavy paint. Again, this is just the first layer. I think that's better. I just go right over the same exact, oh my goodness. kind of dark outside so I think I'm gonna call it a day I've been painting for a couple hours now I think I finished the full base layer so I can just work on it more tomorrow um, I'm not too happy with it honestly but I think I can fix it I think I can get it to the point where I like it so yeah So it's the next day. I've been working on the piece for about another hour or so. Um, probably doesn't look like it. I think I tried to go in with too much texture too fast and then I had to go in and cover it up. I thought I thought I had finished the base yesterday, but clearly I hadn't. So I was just working on the mountain bits more. Now I think I'm gonna go back in and do more of the sky. I wanna add more texture and more variation, maybe, maybe some clouds, but at the very least some more interest. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 